Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's been a uh, long time since I put up a video. I'm out here on a duck hunt. Things are going slow, so I figured I'd make a little update video for y'all on the mud motor. Um, done a lot of things to it since the last video I posted. But I'll go ahead and begin with the uh, throttle setup that I did. I ended up just getting a twist throttle off of a, uh, like a, a dirt bike or four wheeler, whatever it would come off of. Went and bought it new at the uh, moped store. Ran the throttle cable back and I uh, totally removed the uh, the governor setup. So that no longer does anything. I was having a big issue with that and I let the engine rev up to where it needed to be to get any kind of power out of it. So I bypassed that and I ran the throttle cable, I don't know if you can see it or not, straight back to the carburetor there. And uh, that works very well. And uh, so I was real happy with the way that turned out. Next thing that I did that was a pretty major uh, upgrade was this uh, shift lever here. If you remember before, I was using vice grips, which obviously wasn't safe or efficient. Um, so now I have this where uh, pull up, and that's reverse, neutral, and forward. And it works uh, remarkably well. Now, uh, let's see here. Oh, the bolt that came supplied with the engine that the uh, 7 8 shaft on the motor itself is tapped for um, was classified as a grade 8 hardened bolt, which uh, I don't believe it was because one run up the river with this and uh, I wrung the head off of it and completely snapped the weld, so uh, that was no good. It broke off up inside the shaft and uh, with, I didn't feel like draining the, the oil out of the motor, so uh, there wasn't a good way to drill it, so I just said forget it. So uh, instead, I ended up welding that adapter right there. Now this 173cc uh, motor from Harbor Freight has uh, a 3 16 inch keyway, so uh, and, and the 7 8 main shaft, as I said. So uh, using the adapter piece that I had from the original spline on the lower leg, uh, this smaller piece on the bottom here, I welded that to a piece of 3 quarter inch pipe because it was a 3 quarter OD, and uh, that was a, a thick wall pipe, a piece of stainless. And then I took another piece of 7 8 thin wall um, pipe for the main shaft, welded both of those inside a 1 inch uh, ID sleeve right there, and uh, I centered everything up, and that did really, really well. It, and I've had it out here all day, uh, running through weeds and mud and everything, and it uh, has not skipped a beat. And uh, as far as locking it in place, I used that 3 16 uh, machine screw in there, threaded into the keyway. And uh, I'm probably going to be putting a second one in there just for reinforcement, but uh, that worked very well. And uh, let's see, I also put these little uh, pieces of sound deadening rubber underneath the motor mounts here um, to kind of dampen the vibration because it's, it's uh, a really big problem. Now as far as the boat goes, um, it's just a basic little 14 foot John boat, nothing special. Um, I just built this little jack plate for it. It's obviously a manual jack plate, but it allows me to get the motor up an extra three inches. And uh, now the cavitation plate is right below the surface of the water, uh, right in line with the bottom of the boat. So that works really well. This little bracket here was originally for a, uh, a switch, a kill switch. I had used a, a battery shutoff switch, an ignition switch, a toggle switch. Every single switch that I have tried, nothing has worked. Um, I was running a direct short to the spark plug. And uh, I guess because all of this is welded together to the same base, it's, it's uh, uh, shorting itself out before it'll do anything. So the key has to be in the uh, off position to run, and I didn't really like that. So I forgot about the switch, and instead I'm uh, using the primer bulb as a, uh, a kill switch. You prime it one time, it shuts the motor off, you fire it right back up after that. Now, uh, as far as economy goes, I'll do a little review here on the motor itself from Harbor Freight. Is it worth the money? I'd say yeah. Um, I mean, for this, it, it pushes the boat with uh, with two people in it and a cooler full of ice at about 12 miles an hour, which isn't too bad. I mean, it's, from a long tail mud motor, you aren't going to get much more than that, uh, or at least for something comparable size to this. Um, efficiency, Harbor Freight labeled it, I believe it was uh, 45 minutes on a full tank of gas at 50% throttle. And I feel like that was a very conservative... Um, rating that they did because I've been out here since uh, about six o'clock this morning and it's about 10 o'clock now and I've been running on a full tank and every time I move I'm wide open now I just topped it off uh, for peace of mind before I left the ramp but I uh, went back and got the gun but um, 
you know, I'm, I'm very impressed with the economy for what it was rated for, this tiny little tank. I'm eventually planning on putting up a, a push polling platform here, and I'm going to mount a belly tank to it. Uh, so there's no need for a fuel pump. It'll just be a gravity-fed line down to the carb. Um, that way I don't have to worry about this little one here. I'll use it as a reserve with a three-way valve. Um, I think that's about it as far as upgrades on the, the motor itself goes since the last time I've... Uh, posted a video so without further ado I'll go ahead and pause this get it cranked up and uh, take you all for a little test run to show you what it does I'll be right back all right this is the idle speed here we'll go ahead and give it some juice Back up in neutral. We'll go ahead and put her in reverse now. All right, now you can see the uh, pressure on the prop from the water. I didn't give it quite enough uh, throttle in time and it killed it. Um, that's one problem that I've been having is uh, you can't put it in any gear without giving it some gas, especially forward. I guess it bites too much in the water. It acts as a, uh, a flywheel, and the flywheel would be uh, too large for this engine. So uh, that's one thing that I need to address. I'll probably turn up the uh, idle adjustment a little bit, but other than that, she does pretty good. Um, now, as I've said in all my other videos, you know, it, this was a build for the cheap, not for fancy. Um, I had this lower leg, the power unit went bad on, it was 9.9 .9 game fisher, and uh, rather than wasting it i figured well i'll pick up this motor i think it was 80 or 90 bucks i don't recall what it was it was a couple years ago now i've just had it sitting in the garage and uh it's been more of a learning experience than anything I'm trying to uh, familiarize myself with all the welding techniques and everything for the aluminum and uh you know it's been a lot of fun to do it there's always going to be somebody with a nicer piece of equipment so if this is going to be a thing where in the comment section y'all just want to bash it and go somewhere else um i'm just sharing my design with y'all because i feel like for somebody trying to do this cheap it's a really good design it works well and uh i'd love to hear what y'all think about it so uh, leave a comment down below don't forget to like and subscribe y'all have a good day